radar coordinates to base Orion. Compare figures with signal direction. Angle Alpha 37. Angle Alpha 12, velocity 600 miles per second. Signals in direction course. Power signals constant. Exact coordinate, signal exact direction. Course confirmed. What is it? Mila, check the distance of the stellar explosion. Something wrong with it. It's the end. Thank you. 
Repeat. She cannot hear you. She cannot hear you. Repeat. You're inside. There's no doubt about it, and that punch of his proves it. In the report, I charge Captain Hamilton with insubordination. So you think the facts have been altered? I've never received an order from Miller. I've never even seen a report from Miller. All I have ever seen is a bunch of notes from an electronic hunk of metal. Now, I'm not in the habit of taking orders from a machine. It was an insult, sir, and he deserved it. But he's talking about the greatest brain ever made by man. Exactly, by man. The case now is in my jurisdiction. You should have contacted Hamilton personally. Perhaps a conference with Captain Hamilton would have been the proper procedure. It might have prevented this embarrassing situation. As for Hamilton, I assure you he will be justly disciplined. But if this incident became public, it could discredit Orion. Captain Hamilton certainly will be disciplined. You can go now, Miller. Commander, I'm silence. Sorry. You're a barbarian, a savage. They warned me when they transferred you under my orders, but the warning wasn't necessary. Your arrogance was well known in advance. We knew all about it. Continue, Captain, and in just one month's time, I'll transfer you to the Quartermaster Service. <laughs> Not a rosy prospect, Commander. I should consult Wiz for what happened so that he would give. Eliminate dangerous personnel. I won't consult Wiz. I'm putting you in command of the spaceship, leaving for the Vega sector. Well, Mac. Now that I'm going outside, I'll try to find a good bottle of whiskey for you. <laughs> good idea, as long as it's scotch. <laughs> no problem. There you are. <clears throat> this is the airlock chamber to bridge. Segura's ready for instrument test. All set. Enter decompression chamber. Maximum duration, 10 seconds. Repeat, 10 seconds. Clear the area. It's an old satellite for the interception of gamma rays. It's practically a monument. <laughs> you know that thing must be a hundred years old. Cameras three and four working. Activate radio contact with the outside. Why in the hell did you send only one man out there? Well, I thought, Captain, I... Uh... Come in, Peter. Peter, can you hear me? Very well, Captain. 
It's too hazardous to work alone. Re-enter the ship immediately. We'll prepare another crew member to go with you. The orders are that outside we work in pairs. Don't worry, Captain. I'll be extremely careful. Captain, look at screen number two. Stop it, Segura. That's an order. If that battery breaks, the acid will destroy your spacesuit. I know what I'm doing, Captain. It'll only take a few seconds. I've located it. I've got the breaker in already. He could die out there. He's liable to be... It won't take long at all, Captain. I've got to screw this in. It won't take a moment. Peter. You're a... You're a damn fool. to get back to the ship. Use the directional. And above all, stay calm. You've got three minutes before the suit will corrode. You have two and a half minutes. They won't make it. Look, Mila. What's going on? What are they stopping for?
Coco, are you sure this spaceship's in the orbit of the satellite's passage? Not I, but he seems very sure. Here it is. The satellite has entered our screen. Give me the data. Wait a minute, I'm recording. Distance, 180,000 miles. Speed, 73,000 miles per second. Angle of trajectory, alpha 24 degrees. End of the data. Object identified as the satellite Dana. Satellite is completely safe. No intervention necessary. Proceed on present speed and trajectory. Satellite information now programmed. Distance, 180,000 miles. Speed, We're lucky. We don't have to stop until... What do you angle, think of Alpha, Captain Hamilton? Degrees. Don't you think he's a fascinating man? What the hell? What does it mean? Seems almost a message coming from space. de foie gras. It seems hard to believe, but in only 20 more hours, we'll be on our way back to home base. Your move. Bravo, Marseille. All he thinks about is vacation. Captain, our computer is picking up a strange signal. Here, sir, you better take a look at it. Thanks. It's impossible. The computer's got to be wrong. You understand, Colonel? Yes, sir. And you'll begin the investigation immediately. It will be done, sir. You know we can't allow this to continue. I will inform you. Report to me as soon as you have anything. <clears> those <throat> oh, damn signals, those damn signals are damaging Earth's radio and video systems. I'm receiving solicitations from all over the world. Washington and Moscow have already called me three times. Well, Colonel Altman, it's lucky for us that you're here. Yes, sir. Let's get down to facts. What disposition has Wiz given? Wiz affirms that behind this strange signal there's an alien intelligence that knows all, and there's danger. Wiz orders us to find the emission source and destroy it. Good. Send an airship at once. <laughs> You hear that? More of those signals. They certainly sound strange. It's impossible. Oh, come on, come on, relax. I agree that those are not normal signals, but I also think the computer isn't functioning right, that's all. So stay calm. I really think that that computer in there has just got to be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> These strange signals could be radioactivity meeting a cosmic belt. And if these signals are really being sent and are not cosmic radiation, I figured they'll be strong enough to reach the ground. And I'll bet that they're being heard on every radio telescope on the entire Earth. Your move. What's the nearest spaceship to the emission source of the signals? It's the MK-31, Commander. MK-31. Who's the MK-31, Commander? Captain Hamilton. Hamilton? Fred Hamilton, the one on the Sirius expedition. The Mars incident? Intolerant of any kind of discipline. He should have been rejected. Captain Hamilton is a good commander. It's true that he has quite a temper and that he takes a little too much personal initiative. But I'm convinced that while these aspects are negative on Earth, they're very useful to a commander-in-chief of such a very important expedition. The MK-31 will have to move beyond known space. And Captain Hamilton is the most suitable man to do it. With your permission, I don't feel that Hamilton is right for the situation. Hamilton is to be discarded. Let me go, Commander. Stop this wrangling. Wiz will decide. Captain Hamilton will go and do what he'll be ordered to do. No, I haven't the right crew to undertake such a dangerous journey. We've just completed a mission lasting six months and are due for rotation in less than 24 hours. My men are tired. They need a rest. 
They want to get back to Earth and to their families. Evidently, I didn't make myself clear enough to you, Captain. I did not call you to debate. Wiz's orders must be carried out. Nonsense. If a machine says to go out and get killed, it does not mean I must do it. The new rules allow me to disobey such an order. I'm reserving decision. I'll report to you later. Consider your future, Captain Hamilton. Forget the new rules this time. You've got to obey, Captain. The commander here has helped you before. But now not even he can help you. He'll be unable to protect your career if you persist in your refusal. Think it over, Captain. At the end of the mission, you'll all be given extra leave with the possibility of a very fine promotion. I'll be the first one to suggest it. You'll all be heroes. From our press room, you'll all be followed continuously by journalists from all over the world. Think it over. I'm sorry, Commander. No member of my crew wants to be a hero. And the normal leave is going to be fine without a promotion. And tell that hunk of metal that MK-31 is returning home. Captain Hamilton, I think Dr. Jane Fraser would like to speak with you. Hello, Fred. Hello, Jane Fraser. It's been a long time. I won't try to talk you into changing your mind. I only ask that you behave justly. Allow the crew to choose. It's the only democratic way I feel. That certainly does seem the fairest way to handle this, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi, Richard. Hi. Gentle. You decide. It's strange how some printed words can evoke emotion. You live in a different world. Not a world of words, but of things that you cannot express. Mila, you're the one who's lost contact with life. You've let yourself be conditioned by machines. Sure, I know you're all able technicians, chemists, physicists, engineers, but no poets or musicians are born nowadays. And, and you've forgotten about uh, love. I think I'll never use the cosmic love. You must never, never be fooled by imitations. You must kiss me more often from now on. You know something? I feel this is my first victory over machines. Captain, the radar scanner indicates two shining points. They're approaching. 
approaching rapidly. All crews to your stations. Establish contact with Base Orion. Tell Commander Armstrong it's urgent. Spaceship MK-31 has to speak with Commander Armstrong. It's urgent. Commander Armstrong's coming. What's happening, Captain? Our radar is picking up two strange metallic bodies. I presume they're spaceships. Spaceships in that part of space? They could be asteroids. They've got to be asteroids. No asteroids could vary their speed like that. They're being controlled somehow. Captain, try to find out what's happening. But remember, they're not terrestrial spaceships. That is, if they are spaceships. There's a way to get an answer to that. Activate the scanners. Executed. 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 The two objects are now in our cameras. They'll be on your base scanner momentarily. Transfer everything to base Orion. And they're really spaceships. There just isn't any other possibility. Establish contact. Negative contact. Hamilton, try again. Try with all possible ways of communications. Try with the radio, too. Wait, let us contact Wiz. He'll know what to do. Hala, interrupt contact with base. Mila, analyze the spaceship on our computer. Ask data about the crew and their weapons in terms of absolute probability. Data insufficient. In other words, we'll have to be content with a relative probability. Unmanned spaceships armed with long-range disintegrators. 70% chance. Battle speed. Battle speed. Activate disintegrators. Coordinate direction rays. Activate laser. Best range, 50 miles. Approaching range. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We've been hit. Internal pressure is 5 G's. Reactivate contact at once. Our equipment seems to be working perfectly, Commander. They must have stopped transmitting. Commander, the newspaper men are in the press hall. They followed everything. Commander, we've got a lot of questions to ask. How do you plan to answer this attack against the Earth? What are you talking about? There's been no attack against our planet. We've all seen a spaceship. Do you think MK-31 has been hit as part of some weird game? Will you please stop misrepresenting facts? A space skirmish does not mean that Earth is in peril and that we've been attacked. That spaceship out there could have weapons. Our bases didn't sight anything that could make us dread an attack. Why have you already given the alert signal to all the bases? Well, because... Well, be quiet. That is a military secret. Yes, sir. The public must know about that ship. We may be facing the vanguard of a whole fleet. Damn, that's enough. 
Get out of here. I won't answer any more questions. Where's the whole thing? Somebody communicate over here. The Earth is in danger. The Earth is in desperate, desperate danger. It is very urgent that we prepare. Aliens are attacking Earth. Vanguard of a fleet. Our bases prepare defenses. Our bases can be destroyed like MK-31. Repeat, spaceship enters our solar system. base Orion's monitors, we have seen the beginning of the end. The Earth is in great danger. Spaceship approaches Earth. I can't make it, Captain. The centrifugal force has immobilized me. We have to make it. All maximum we can blow up the ship, Captain. We have to break clear. Auxiliary ignition button pump. Try to reach it. Go on. Reduced to a fourth, only that. Captain, I can't reactivate contact with Earth. The auxiliary engines are too weak. They don't have sufficient power. Activate videos 14 and 7. And 17 and 6. Gravitational force is increasing fast. The angle's drift coincides with the planet's axis. We're being attracted by its gravitational force. We'll be smashed to bits. <laughs> 